While Way Forward is mostly known for Shantae in some tie-in titles like DuckTales and The Mummy Demastered, they do have a handful of other original titles under their belt, and a personal favourite of mine is Mighty Switch Force. Originally launching as a download for the Nintendo 3DS, the game was well received and has since gained a sequel, remake, and two spin-offs. Now, WayForward brings nearly the entire collection to the Nintendo Switch, and upon getting the chance to play an early review copy, I was enlightened on an aspect of the title I hadn't thought of before. Mighty Switch Force is the best example of a puzzle platformer. Earlier this year, Nintendo released Box Boy plus Box Girl. As a fan of the series already, I enjoyed it, especially with a friend, but after talking with newcomers, I found that it didn't quite hook that many people. The main complaint was how slow it felt, and that the puzzles themselves just were not that exciting, and I can understand that. Puzzle games in the traditional sense, so not like Tetris or Puyo Puyo, are slower affairs that often require stopping and thinking to solve. When combining that with a platformer, we can see where clashing ideologies happen. Platformers don't need to be incredibly fast games, but the best ones let the player go at a pace they enjoy, and reduce waiting times. It's only by getting that feeling across while also providing a puzzle that requires some thought that we can get a truly great puzzle platformer game that appeals to the majority. And I think Mighty Switch Force pulled this off spectacularly. The collection comes with four games. You have the first in all its sprite-filled glory, the sequel that swaps out police officers for firefighters, a HD remake of the first game with some more challenging levels, and a multiplayer spin-off that is appearing on consoles for the very first time. It is weird they decided not to include Hose It Down as well, the only straightforward puzzle game in the series, and the only one missing, but I'm not going to bring it down for that. Most of these games play the same. The original and Hyperdrive are basically identical outside of the latter's graphics and hyper mode, while Academy uses the same gameplay style as the original, but has a zoomed out camera where you can see the whole level. This is no doubt due to the addition of multiplayer, which sees everyone working together to get the five prisoners in record time, or the versus mode, where everyone competes with each other. This zoomed out view does allow for some new gimmicks like Mario Bros style screen warping, but I prefer the original's camera. Then you have the second game. It is the same gameplay feel, but your gun is replaced by a hose which changes up how some puzzles are handled. It's not too dramatic a shift, but it's perfect for a sequel as it allows for different types of puzzles while still retaining the same feel. But regardless of the game, Mighty Switch Force pulls off the puzzle platformer perfectly, and that's largely because of its mechanics and stage layout. Stages are designed almost like a Mega Man game, but much shorter, and the mechanics are directly tied to the gun, which can be fired while on the move, and the platforms themselves. Swapping the platforms on and off at the tap of a button gives the player full control to find their path to the five prisoners and make it to the end of the stage. What these two mechanics accomplish is the ability for the player to never really stop moving. The game encourages speedruns, with a time to beat on every level, and some stages can be solved without stopping. If you can think on the fly and solve the puzzles quickly, you can rush through all the levels. However, if you need some more time, you can stop and give it some extra thought or experiment a little. The pace and flow are with the player, and that's what matters. Add on to that some clever level design which can add to the puzzles in various ways, and you have an excellent puzzle platformer. If you haven't played any of the Mighty Switch Force games, or you've only played one of them, then I would recommend picking up this collection. It's a fantastic set of puzzle platformers that any fan of either genre will enjoy. I want to give a special thanks to WayForward for the early copy, and all of you for checking out my review. On screen now are all of the lovely patrons. If you want to find out how you can support us, then check out our Patreon, a link to it is below. With that guys, like, subscribe, or better yet, share this video, and always remember to return to the source.